Hello Indie Game fans, this video is brought to you by Project Starship X, a procedurally generated roguelite shoot 'em up with a wonderful pixel art style, awesome chiptune music and bright colourful visuals. I'm a fan of the bullet hell shooter since it takes me back to my childhood with games like Tatsujin, so there's something comforting about the insane bullet hell patterns with the modern polish. This also features multiple playable characters and insane power-ups but just oozes style, so look out for this on Steam in June. There's also a free demo for you to try right now, and as always, be sure to wishlist the game since it helps the developer. Another roundup of fantastic looking trailers of indie games to get excited about, starting with Super Magbot. This is a pixel art platformer in quotes since you cannot jump in this. Rather, use pedals, orbs, magnetism and more to get around in what looks like a fun experience. Simple, clean pixel art adds to this so hopefully it will give us that hardcore platforming kick. Despite my efforts to cover all interesting looking indie games, I'm not perfect and there are some games which slip through the cracks and Space Gladiators Escaping Tartarus is one such title. A 2D roguelike platformer where you can play as a space potato, take on the role of the eponymous space gladiator and fight your way out of a planet prison. Love the genre and art style and special shoutout goes to commenter Ricardo Trinca for pointing this one out to me. I have to apologize to the developer of Songs of Six since I didn't manage to cover it in time prior to the conclusion of its Kickstarter campaign which, unfortunately, fell just a little bit short. However, this is a beautiful looking pixel art simulation title where you lead societies ranging from small colonies to entire large scale mega cities. Seems awesome in the same vein as RimWorld so wishing this developer all the best. There's something about the isometric puzzle game with this kind of art style, so the latest one to get my attention is The Almost Gone. These beautiful dioramas hide heat scratching puzzles and perhaps just a little bit of a spooky story as well. The year is 2084. If they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. Hey! Just need to ask you a few questions. Developer Bloober Team isn't that small of a studio, but are masters at their craft, and the cyberpunk dystopian horror game Observer is getting a remaster for next generation consoles. Don't remember. If you won't remember, that's when they call me. Heart rate irregular. Emergency extraction procedure offline. 
My name is Daniel Lozarski. I'm an observer. The original was well received, so enhanced gameplay and fancy new graphics should make it even better. Stealth games are not usually my thing, but Time Lie does look interesting due to the puzzles and time rewinding elements. Also helps that there's an adorable cat, but this looks hauntingly beautiful set in an abstract realm with killer robots where you are on a quest to guide our main character back home. The cat is also a playable character where coordination and simultaneous planning is required and this supports both single player and co-op play. Also of note is that this is from a Thai indie developer, so Southeast Asia represent. The art of the god game is perhaps a little bit lost to time, with classics such as Black and White and Populous not really finding their modern day successors. So we shall see if Fata Deum lives up to the hype. The god game genre is back. Do you desire infinite power? You shall wield the power of a god. And you shall lead humanity any way you choose. Will you support the founding families by working good wonders? Encourage them to build farms and schools so they can thrive as their settlements grow. Play as a benevolent or evil god, helping or harming as you see fit, as you battle for supremacy, gaining followers and smiting your enemies. Bloodthirst of mortals and incite the flames of war to expand your lands with all the means at your command. Will you create a golden age of endless festivity? I do love this genre, since you cannot directly control your subjects as in an RTS, but must influence their actions instead. Or will you and deceive your minions with lies and malicious plans. You could promise them an afterlife of sorts. Whatever you decide. There are rival gods to battle against with a large range of possible effects and outcomes, ranging from stirring up a bloodthirsty army, encouraging farming and education, necromancy, god powers and more. But who will attract the most followers of all? Take up the battle for supremacy against the four ancient gods of Illus. Create your legacy as you embark on this epic journey and feel the growth of your divine power when you destroy all those who dare oppose you. It looks pretty alright graphically as well and not too shabby a presentation but this has already hit its Kickstarter goals, but do check it out and chip in if you want. You will finally realize your fate. With the power of a god, who will you become? Fata Deo. Hmm. 
The story of Griftlands has been a strange one, releasing in early access on the Epic Games Store last year, but did seem to have a little bit of an identity crisis, starting off as a roguelite RPG, but seems to be taking cues from Slay the Spire in more recent iterations. However, through the months of early access, things seem to be progressing along nicely, so this is the animated shot for the playable character Rook. He was added a little while back, but his campaign finale is now available, and based on the quality of this alone, certainly is an interesting game to keep an eye on. Actually, since this is by developer Clay Entertainment after all, I wouldn't worry about the quality of this, but given the progress, perhaps a good time to jump in. We go to our first ever live feed aboard the S.A. Balding Eagle on her maiden voyage through the Milky Way! Are we there yet? I need to eat a dump! We're live. <laughs> what? Oh no, harvesters! They're attacking the ship! Who among this brave and disciplined crew will stop these terrifying <laughs> space parasites? Oh. I say... Panic! Look out the tunnel there! Oh, I'm not worthy of this uniform! I'm just going to get to me in Ayahuasca and it's all right! Tank control creatures, places, or things! Gone. <clears throat> I've seen minimal effect being described as the Rick and Morty version of Mass Effect, and to be honest, this seems not too far from the truth. Looks pretty good, and hope the gameplay holds up. Our fearless heroes do it again! Tune in next time! Why would our mother abandon us? Maybe she's tired, or she's angry, or she's got something better to do. Maybe she's dead. Frankly, I don't care. The question is not why did she leave. The question is, what do we do next? Do we gather and protect each other from our frame reality? Do we weave the world's chaos into great, beautiful things? Do we chase peace and harmony with the magics left in her wake? Or do we finally fulfill the promise and the destiny of humanity? Master reality. Learn divinity. Ascend! Come with me. Some of you may be disappointed to see that Chroma, Bloom and Blight is a Hearthstone style CCG after that amazing looking animated trailer, but the developers seem to be trying something different with the monetization. If you are sick of being nickeled and dime from having to buy card packs, this completely removes that being truly free to play with cosmetic only monetization, a downside of this model I suppose. I won't get into too much of the technical details of the changes to the traditional CCG systems dealing with mana, drafting and so on, but good looking art and looks pretty alright. This is currently on Kickstarter with a free demo on Steam, so support and check it out if interested. Hey mate, like to join us? Fire's just right. To this day, I think that some people are still myth because that game company decided to release Sky Children of the Light on mobile first as a follow up to Journey, so a strange tension there. However, 
This social adventure game's latest update is the Season of Enchantment, and similar to all their games, spots that impressive, dreamy, beautiful look. Apparently, there have been multiple seasons and even a season pass concept of sorts, but I'm not too clear on the details, so check up on that yourself. Happy to share this one, and it really should have been in the best upcoming games of the month list, since Wildfire has been a long-anticipated title of mine. This is a stealth action simulation platformer where everything burns. In a world where magic has more or less died out, you as the wielder of such elemental powers have been branded as a witch to outsmart the army as you escape. The simulation aspect of this is most impressive, akin to something like Deus Ex for example, where everything interacts with everything as you would expect it to. Grass burns, water freezes and more, with the platforming perspective being quite unique for this sort of game. Cool art as well, so pretty excited for this. When we talk about old school survival horror games, PSX Resident Evil or Silent Hill come to mind, and Signalis looks very much in a similar vein. This is set in a retro tech world, which is an interesting description, where you play as a replica searching for her lost dreams. creepy looking world with sci-fi cosmic horror and one for fans of the genre. The original Polybridge is one of my favourite puzzle games of all time, so I was pleasantly surprised to find out about the launch of Polybridge 2, also slated for me. This bridge building physics puzzle game looks to expand upon the first, so as always, remember that triangles give you strength. And of course, a pixel art souls like Metroidvania takes the top spot with the cock. Of note is the scale of the pixel art, where our main character is very small indeed, but does carry a very large sword. I love the beauty and simplicity of the minimalism here, with gorgeous backgrounds and what seems to be quite challenging enemies and bosses. Very smitten with the art, and I want to see more taking the number one spot. If you enjoyed the video, why not share it with a friend? Check out even more great indie gaming videos, and in this current climate, stay safe and I will see you after the jump.